Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this episode, episode 57, I'm going to talk about pressure reflexes and mean arterial pressure. We've been talking about mean arterial pressure a lot. We've spoken about cardiac output and peripheral resistance. You can always revisit previous episodes to find out more about that. So today we are talking about pressure reflexes. And we'll look exactly at why we call it pressure reflexes. But here we have the heart, and I, I feel like I keep saying that in every episode recently. And the heart pumps the blood throughout the body. We have the aorta. And um, one of the arteries that I have not been talking a lot about would be the carotid artery. So this is the common carotid. And so I'm just going to come here and draw a line here and say that we're dealing with carotid arteries and of course here we are dealing with the aorta now there is something very special that we have in these two arteries in both the aortic and the carotid bodies we have receptors that we call barro receptors now from the time you hear the prefix barrel, you should know that it has something to do with pressure. For example, a barometer measures pressure, and here we have barrel receptors, and these barrel receptors respond to changes in, you guessed it, pressure. And that's why they're called baroreceptors. Now, what's going to happen is if we have an increase in mean arterial pressure, so we have a significant increase in mean arterial pressure, what that's going to do, these baroreceptors are going to start firing. So we're going to have an increase in the firing of these baroreceptors. In other words, they're going to be sending signals. And those signals are going to go to a region of the brain in the brain stem that we call the medulla. The medulla, and this is known as the blood pressure regulating center. Of course it regulates other things, but it also regulates blood pressure. That then is going to cause, let's draw this arrow coming in this direction, it's going to cause a combination of two things. It's going to cause an increase in parasympathetic activity. And it's going to cause, naturally, a decrease in sympathetic activity. Now, if you remember from one of the early episodes, sympathetic activity causes stuff like increasing heart rate, increasing blood pressure, and so on. Parasympathetic activity calms stuff down, so it reduces blood pressure, it reduces heart rate, breathing rate, and so on. So we have an increase in mean arterial pressure, so an increase in blood pressure. The baroreceptors are going to respond by sending signals to the medulla, and that's going to cause an increase in parasympathetic activity, calming stuff down, and a decrease in sympathetic activity, Sympathetic activity would normally increase pressure and speed stuff up, but here we're slowing that down. So the net result of these two things is we're going to get a reduction in cardiac output and 
also in peripheral resistance. And then of course, that is gonna cause a reduction in mean arterial pressure. And this is why we call it a reflex because we have an increase in mean arterial pressure and that's gonna cause a number of things that's gonna eventually cause a reduction in mean arterial pressure. And of course, the relationship between these quantities here, we've looked at a number of times. And just to revisit that, MAP is equal to CO times PR. Mean arterial pressure is equal to cardiac output times peripheral resistance. And since we're decreasing both cardiac output and peripheral resistance, we are also going to decrease mean arterial pressure. That's pretty much it for this episode. That's all I'm going to cover. Of course, you can always visit the website at interactive-biology.com for more biology videos, more biology resources, and more biology fun. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next one.